Water, an essential element for survival, not only by humans, but plants and animals. So therefore, we need to manage our water resources properly. Additionally, Guyana is known as the land of many waters. The coastal land, which is highly populated for residential and commercial purposes, is below sea level and is often threatened by floods. Kaisuku is one of the organizations that depends heavily on our water resources. As a matter of fact, the existence of drainage and navigational networks evolved from the sugar industry. Mr. Omidat Persaud, the water management manager at Kaisuku, gives us some insight of the drainage and navigation network in Guyana. These lands are bordering on, on mean sea level. Um, they are lower than the high tide level. Really, the drainage started as uh, the, the polders that the, uh, the Dutch had built, uh, literally empoldering lands, uh, low lands from the, from the swamps. Uh, building a, a, a sea dam out of, of clay in front, um, digging drains at the sides of the different plantations, and um, building a, a back dam for the, at the first depth up to where they intend to cultivate. Um, and then they, they built cokers, uh, cokers through the sea dam that was built, uh, where at low tide, they were able to, to, to drain and uh, reclaim the land. Uh, for, for, for the dry months, um, they had tubes through the back dam from the swamps where they took in water for uh, irrigating the sugar cane and also um, to fill the canals to, um, for the, the, the ponds, for flotation of ponds and transport to the uh, factory. With the coastal lands below sea level, there are challenges during the high tides and during periods of excessive rainfall. Draining water off the land requires some skills. Hence, dams were built and pumps were installed to prevent overtopping or flooding. During heavy rainfall, um, the front lands are a little lower. You may have flooding there sometimes, and there's where the pump comes in, very useful for pumping out the water. Over 100 years ago, in different parts of the industry, um, drainage pumps were, were added. Uh, I think the first um, drainage pumps or pumps were uh, built at Rose Hall Estate uh, because there were low basin areas there and also because uh, during times of, he very, of heavy rainfall, the Kanji Creek would get so high that, um, and remain high for long periods of time that you couldn't get the natural gra gravity, drain gravity drainage. Uh, so then the, the need for, for pumping water, lifting the water out and uh, discharging into the creek, even when the creek was high, uh, that was recognized since then. Um, the pumps started with steam engines and then later on diesel engines uh, were added. Gaisuko uses irrigation canal to store water for canes and for use in the factories. Also, water is used as the main method for transporting canes to the factories via navigation canals. Neighboring communities and farmers benefit from these drainage and irrigation network nationwide. Communities within the estate, within the front lands of the estates, they are virtually totally drained by the infrastructure, the drainage facilities of the estates. Um, mainly the, the drainage pumps and the sluices and our main drainage systems. It's important to point out that the, um, the runoff, runoff, that's the rainfall runoff from residential areas is greater than from the sugar cane and also the runoff is, is more rapid from these built-up areas because um, the housing areas, um, there are a lot of paved areas, impermeable areas. So there's not um, much absorption into the soil um, or um, infiltration of 
water into, into the soil, a very rapid runoff. Um, in terms of the farmers, there are more farmers benefiting on some estates than on other estates. Now, within the Rosal estate and the Albion Portmorant estates, there are substantial number of farmers, um, some cane farmers, but even more rice farmers who benefit, uh, some benefit from both the drainage and irrigation, but um, within those areas, Rosal, Albion, they, they benefit more greatly from the irrigation um, system. Operating approximately 53 drainage pumps throughout the coastline, Gaisuku helps to contribute to a healthy environment by removing stagnant waters, aiding farmers and prevention of floods. Mr. Prasad makes a call to the general public to refrain from dumping garbage near or in the canals, either should anyone settle on the drainage reserve. During this extended dry period, remember to use water wisely.